Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? This is Dr. Stevie Aisha Mills, and we are back for another conversation. Oh, my goodness. The Conversation with Stevie is the place where we get to find out all about the why behind the what of what people do. And so today we have an extra special guest, y'all. I'm super excited about this conversation. We have Laura Donnelly, and she is in the building. So hello, Laura. How are you? Hello, Dr. Stevie. I'm really well today, and I'm so excited to be here, and I am happy to share these ideas to help people. Yay! Please do me a favor and introduce yourself to everyone. I believe the best introduction comes from yourself because you know all about you, right? So we are waiting to hear about you. Okay. Um, I teach uh, a process that I call body-brain balance, and it applies to everyday life and also to our to achieving balance in our business, whatever our business is, whether it's parenting or running a company. And I was a performer, so I dealt with pressure on stage, you know, and uh, I practiced the Alexander Technique, which is a way of observing ourselves so that we can see how our thinking changes the way our body functions and how we feel emotionally also. So my work kind of combines that along with a lot of uh, movement fundamentals about knowing the body. And one of my most favorite things is to help people reduce stress and eliminate overwhelm so they can discover that their right effort to achieve balance in whatever they wanted to do, whether it's communication in the boardroom or around the family dinner table. Wow. Okay, I love that, I love that. And I know you told us that you were a performer, so can you tell us how did you say, what was that aha moment that you're like, okay, I'm going from being on the stage or in the performance to being the person who is helping people to ideally get to the performance of their lives? It was probably pretty gradual, but... I started practicing the Alexander Technique, which is, which is a way of achieving balance in yourself, it, between your thinking, between your feelings, and between how you're acting. And I started it because I wanted to be better on stage. And very quickly, I realized that this had a profound effect on my marriage on my communication with my friends and business associates, and I realized this is something that people can, can use themselves. The skills you learn, you get to use yourself whenever you want them to achieve freedom in their life. And I, I kind of call it also optimum flow, which a lot of people think of the flow state as being in a state of grace where you just can't make a wrong move. So early, I started to incorporate these ideas into how I taught dancing so that I wouldn't pass on the bad habits that I had learned as a dancer or early in my career, you know, where it was just pretty much, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. And really, pain is a sign that we're on the wrong track. So, so then I did that, and then as I got a little bit older... I decided to retire from the stage because I got tired of touring. And gradually this became more of a focus in my life and more of a focus in my teaching. Wow. I love everything about this. Let me tell you, I love everything about this because my core principles revolve around freedom, flexibility, and fun. So you already have me with that. And then I love to dance. I've done ballet. I've done, you know, liturgical dance. I've done all kinds of dancing. And so that's part of it. And one thing I know for sure, and I never got, you know, to the level where you were. (laughs) It's just something I enjoy doing. But for me, the great thing about it, and it connects to the flow that you're speaking of, is that 
honestly, only the people who are dancing or the choreographers know what the dance is supposed to be. And dancers have the freedom, the flow, the flexibility to create their own dance. And so I would love to hear your thoughts on that. If you could just take that point and dig a little bit deeper on what that brought up for you, because I believe that it definitely talks about what you're talking about in a way that people can see clearly. Okay. So most of the time when we make mistakes, I mean, okay, let's face it, we're human. We're going to make mistakes. But one of the things that causes a great deal of stress is fear of making a mistake. And darn it, if that just doesn't make you make a mistake. So what you said, that, that the audience watching, they don't know the steps. They don't know the exact time you're supposed to uh, be at a certain place on stage. So if you are in the moment of the performance and you miss a couple of steps, nobody is judging that. They're judging are you communicating from your heart authentically? And, and if you make the mistake and you start to judge yourself, right? You go, oh, no, I goofed up. You're going to be twice as far off the beat. You're going to take yourself even further down the road of making a mistake. And if you just keep in the flow of the moment and you say, well, that was interesting and now I'm here, which is where you're supposed to be at the right time and you just keep going. And for me, it's like what happened before is gone and what's going to happen next isn't here. The only thing that is important is right now. And as long as I stay right now, right here, allow myself the grace to forget about that and like start to worry about what I'm going to say next. You can hear that, right, in my voice. Oh, no, what am I going to say next? Wait, wait, just come back to me. Come back to me right here, right now. And the right words will come out, just like the right steps will come out. This is so incredible. Yeah, it's how I hear what you said. I love it. I love it. And I'm going to tell you even the more because as somebody who has um, experienced stress in life before because of some of the things that you're uncovering today, I was so stressed out at a point in my life where I went from a size 14 to a size zero, had to have three cold nausea within 30 days to within 24 hours, and I had shingles at the age of 30. And so I know it was stress because my doctor told me, but – Definitely, I know that what you're saying today is in line with that because if I was in this moment that you're talking about going back to the center, going back to that space that you're like, okay, it's okay, then I wouldn't have experienced that because a lot of it was like, okay, what am I supposed to do now in the future? I can't go back to the past, you know? And so with that being said, The next question I have for you definitely is about this opportunity to get in the space so that we don't have the worries that come with the weight of the world, especially as entrepreneurs who a lot of our people are entrepreneurs who will be listening in. But as entrepreneurs, when we're trying to close that next sale or we're trying to raise our rates or whatever, those type of feelings come, but with the the methods that you have, I can see, because I've gone through this um, as far as stress goes, I can see how it would be a great way to transcend those emotions. So what do you think with the work that you do is the most beneficial for entrepreneurs? I think, I think the first thing, is, is to take a responsibility for ourselves and our, our personal health and to recognize that everything we do is connected. So if we have a deadline and we're pressing, I think you can hear in my voice, as soon as I start to think about pressing, 
everything in my body tightens up. And I, I have to say, oh, I was pressing. Let me come back to myself. And I come back to myself and I say, okay, I do have this deadline. It exists. Being at ease in myself doesn't change the deadline. It just changes how I achieve the deadline. So especially when talking to a client, a potential client, and I'm, I might have deep compassion for this person and know in my heart that the work I teach about choice and paying attention to how you're thinking, starting to notice sooner and sooner when you've gone off the path of your authentic grace and flow and into a path of doing with stress, noticing that really quickly, and just choosing to move back to the, to the home, what I, what I call being at ease. That's my home space. And really and truly, that's, that's our divine place of natural being. We move ourselves away from that, from stress and worry and, uh, and actually learning all the steps we're supposed to do, all these steps. I'm supposed to do all these steps. And those steps take me, the steps aren't bad, right? It's how I think about that I have to do those steps. So I come back to being at ease and I say, I'm talking to this client. I know my work will help her. How do I share that with her in a way that allows her to realize that she has the power of choice and that I can help her fine-tune that skill so that she starts to more and more quickly recognize when she stepped off the path so she can more and more quickly choose to step back on to that path of ease and flow and grace. And then I don't get nervous talking to my customer because I'm paying more attention to what happens to me because that's how I communicate. If I'm at ease, I communicate that ease through my voice. And I can give you a little example. I can get myself really excited, right? And I'm like, right now I'm talking a little too fast. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure when I did that, that your whole body cringed and all the listeners probably cringed. Because we respond to other humans really quickly. And so my, my primary concern is how does talking to somebody that I know can benefit from my services distract me, move me off my path? That's a curiosity. And I say, oh, that's easy to happen but let me come back. Let me choose to come back. I'm not even going to worry why it happens. I'm just going to notice it and choose to come back. Take a breath, just a little pause, and realize I, I'm, I'm right here, and they're right there, and they will hear the authenticity of my concern and my desire to be of service. I don't have to worry That's about it. Powerful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I um, definitely, before we leave, have one more question for you. And it literally is a fill-in-the-blank question. And so the question is, Stevie, before we leave the conversation today, I need everybody to know, and you fill in the blank. I need everybody to know, Stevie, that choice is powerful, personally powerful, and it's the road to freedom and fun. Wow. Love that. (laughs) I love it. I love it. I love it. Awesome. It is the road to freedom and fun. Well, I definitely live on that road, and I definitely have loved this entire conversation. I can honestly tell you that you have helped me to even get back to that home space, right? You've helped me 
to get there. And I know that you've helped the listeners. We can listen to you all day long. And you just have a very calming spirit, and I appreciate that so much. Um, I do want you to go ahead and give your contact information so that people can connect with you. Okay. Um, They can email me if they want at Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at dancingwithease, all one word, dot com. And uh, that's my website too, so if they wanted to just check out the website first, they can go there and, and see some more ideas about ease and flow and and stepping into ease and how easily you can do that. So it's it's just been wonderful talking to you. So thank you so much. Yay. I appreciate this conversation, y'all. You heard her. You definitely want to connect with her. Um, Laura has just come in here and got us all the way together with getting back to our home space. I love that so much. And this is super exciting, y'all. This has been another conversation with Stevie. And today we have just felt in just a beautiful space. Remember, if you want to connect with me, definitely go to clickthecashnow.com. Again, click to cashnow.com. That is where you can get my book that teaches you how to make six figures online in your business. This is Dr. Stevie Aisha Mills, and I end everything I do the same way by saying, make it a great day. Don't have a great day. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, 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 and yes, you too have the power to do so. Bye for now.